As they say, there are Flat Earth members all around the globe, and apparently they also include a wide variety of people like Logan Paul. I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say my name is Logan Paul and I- I'm an alcoholic. My name is Logan Paul and I'm a douchebag. My name is Logan Paul and I'm a complete idiot. My name is Logan Paul and I, I think I'm coming out of the Flat Earth Closet. Coming out of the Flat Earth Closet. Yeah, that's, um, hmm. Apparently worthy of a mic drop. <laughs> And a lot, a lot of applause. I mean, check out the guy in the front row. He's like so into it. Ah, Logan Paul! Woo! So Logan Paul recently went to a flat earth convention. They have these every year. I have talked about it before. I've made YouTube videos on flat earthers before. I'll leave a link to that in the description. I've also made a YouTube video about Logan Paul before. Never thought my two worlds of idiocy and cringe would combine, but here we are. Nothing should surprise me anymore at this point. Anyway, the Flat Earth Convention has a website and on it they give you directions to get to the place via Google Maps, which, you know, if you zoom out it shows a globe, so I don't know, maybe you guys should find a different website for directions. And apparently they're also making a Flat Earth cruise one day. I totally want to go. Y'all should invite me. But every year they have a celebrity guest and this year they were graced with the presence of none other than logan paul um okay so first things first i can't see any of you it's it's incredibly bright up here if you can't see them how do you know that they are real isn't that the point of the convention if you can't see it how do you know it's there there might be satellites but fuck it i can't see it with my own eyes so the earth is flat another thing that always surprises me about flat earthers is that they get this idea because of the Bible, it's all biblically based. There's so many different passages that basically lead to a flat earth, and that is their reasoning for disbelieving in the round earth theory. And their whole thing is, if I can't see it, how do I know it's there? But their reason is based in religion, and they can't see God, so I just don't, I don't get it. But uh, thank you all for having me. The first day was absolutely incredible. Um, and I do want to give a special shout out to my friend Mike for being the catalyst to all this. Shout out Mike. So apparently his friend Mike is his roommate or something who is a flat earther that convinced him to do this and we'll actually get to meet Mike later. So, you know, just, you can anticipate that goal. Thanks a lot. Look at what you've created. Look at what you've done, Mike. Oh, I love you, I love you. He's, he's one of my best friends. Um, so I consider myself a man of truth. <laughs> what? Logan Paul is the most full of shit person I've ever seen on the internet. But no, 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 you guys, you guys. He considers himself a man of truth. Yeah. Uh, someone who hates being ignorant. I try my best to avoid being ignorant. Dumb Americans have arrived. Look good. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about me, I'm just a vlogger. Gotta be careful to not like disrespect the culture. Totally, totally not ignorant or disrespectful at all. And um, that's why I decided to come here because if I'm, gonna, if I'm gonna do this and if I'm gonna put my name out there, I wanna know the facts, right? The fact that, you know, we haven't been to the moon in what, over 50 years? So human beings haven't physically been on the moon in that amount of time, but we have satellites that go around and around all the time. There's actually a 24 seven live stream of NASA. You can just go online at any point and watch it. It's always live. But by all means, Logan, continue. I, I would love to hear more of your, your facts full of truth, the, the truthful facts. The fact that uh, the moon emits its own light. No, Logan, no, no. The moon does not emit its own light. I feel like these are things we learned in like maybe first grade, second grade, that the moon reflects light, but it doesn't like shine its own light, you know? Some of the best scientists um, that the, uh, the globe heads, is that what you guys call them? The globe heads. Some of their best scientists can't, they can't explain gravity. Yes, they can. I'm, I'm pretty sure. It's, uh, it's a thing that, again, can be taught at a pretty elementary level. It's easy for a lot of people to understand. Just saying. Uh, yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson, Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh, Bill Nye. At the end of the day, 
Do they even know? Yeah, I <laughs> think I love these questions. Do do they even know? Checkmate, gravity people. How to science? I pfft. listen, Neil deGrasse Tyson. You got you got Logan Paul coming for you. Um, I know that you recently had a conversation with Katy Perry uh, that was probably far more intellectually stimulating than a conversation with Logan Paul could ever be, but you gotta try. Is math related to science? Math is the language of the universe. Numbers. Yeah, I, I do think that Logan Paul would present less of a challenge than that, if, if it's possible. I don't know. I have faith, though. I might not have faith in a lot of things, but I do have faith in that. Um. But yeah, man, if, if, like I said, if I'm gonna do this, and if I'm gonna put my name out there, cause I'm sure you guys know there's a stigma. There's a stigma with being a flat earther. Yes, there is a stigma that they are morons because it's really stupid. That is why there's a stigma. Uh, and if they wanted to do themselves any kind of favor in the department of being looked at as though they are stupid, they wouldn't have Logan Paul. Like, this is not helping you. I feel kind of bad for them because whoever organized this event invited him and people who attended are probably rallying together because they think they've all figured something out. They all probably fancy themselves some kind of superior intellectual and they go to this thing and then fucking Logan Paul is the speaker at the event and like they're all cheering but like if it were me and I really believed that, I would have been like, no, no, God, why? Of all the people, why? I already look dumb enough, I don't need help. And if, if I'm gonna do it, I wanna know, I wanna know the facts. So that's why I'm here. Uh, I just wanna say thank you, thank you for having me. If you see me in the hallway, say hi, come take a picture and uh. So people did, people went up to him in the hallways, said hi, a couple of them had YouTube channels. I found this one guy who was vlogging the entire experience. I think he was actually live streaming and uh, He's actually, I, I have a soft spot in my heart for this guy, and you will see why later. I'm at the Fl Flat Earth Conference 2018 in, uh, in uh, Denver. He runs into Logan Paul by the elevator and kind of calls him out a little bit. Going on a date. You're going to go on a date? What's this piece about? What it is it? Uh, uh, rock flat earthers? Or? Nah, no, nah, it's a doc. It's a, it's a documentary because my roommate is a flat earther. Is it really? Yeah. So Logan Paul says he's going on a date, which we'll talk about that in a minute. But we get to meet Mike. Remember how I said thank you so much to Mike earlier? Well, here's fucking Mike. This one you're a flat earther? Yes, sir. What's up, man? And you're like, you gotta go to the flat earther. Bro, I dragged him here. He didn't want to come I'm like, I'm, a, I'm, the, I'm always on to try shit. Mike dragged Logan Paul to this event. This isn't something that like Logan was super into, put a lot of time and research into and wanted to go. And I mean, he's on stage talking about, I gotta have all the facts. Before I do this, I need to have me all the facts. But then it seems as though his friend kind of just grabbed him and drug him to this thing last second. And he's like, whatever, I'm down to try new shit. Why not? But like, this isn't something that you're just like one day, you know what, I'm just gonna try out being a flat earther. And not only am I just gonna give it a try, you would think the normal thing to do there would be like, I'm gonna try it out, so I'm just gonna attend. No, I'm going to be the guest speaker. And I'm gonna come out of the flat earth closet just cause I wanna try it out. I don't know, I call bullshit. I think he's totally full of shit. I think he's doing this for attention. Uh, but hey, that's just my opinion. When I come out saying I'm a flat earther, you gotta understand it's like a big deal. It's a big, like, you know? So I gotta just make sure I have Okay, but what, hold on, hold on. What is a big deal towards? Towards your sob count and your fame? No, no, I guess it's just a, it's just an image thing. So this guy straight up asks Logan Paul, what are you afraid of? Is it because you're afraid of losing subscribers or having it negatively affect your fame? And Logan Paul like maybe didn't understand the question. And he's like, nah, man, it's just my public image that I'm worried about. Because subscribers and fame and public image are just not related. What's up? I gotta go on my date, bro. Oh yeah? Up, are you dating a flat earther? If she is, I, I better hear. Oh, really? Yeah. That's funny. The dude can't even go to a flat earth convention without hooking up with one of the girls there. Like, I feel really bad for her. But you know, if you guys are single out there and looking, just go to a flat earth convention and pick up some chicks. Hi. Holy smokes. <laughs> She's fucking hot. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe he's a little creepy. I like him a little less now. A little weird. Well, the stuff I showed him, he said that it's convincing and stuff, and, and I hope that he's legitimate. But I told him, I was like, 
dude, I, I know you're great at making spoof videos, but I hope you're legitimate and tell the truth about this. And he goes, oh yeah, always. Dude in the hat knows what's up. He's like, oh yeah, always. Like, obviously he doesn't believe him. So I'm going to give Flat Earthers the tiniest amount of credit for this because even though they believe a bunch of shit, they're at least not dumb enough to believe Logan Paul's shit. And that says something. Yeah, By yeah, him yeah, saying yeah, always, I'm like, wait a second, I've seen your videos, it's not always. always. See, I knew it. Even Flat Earthers have more logic than the average Logan Paul fan. This is kind of funny, because I, I watched Keemstar's video on this, and he had three theories as to why Logan Paul was doing what he was doing, and one of them was that Logan Paul's fans are so stupid that maybe Logan Paul needed to do something even more stupid to just get more fans, because since his fan base is already dumb, this is a great way to find more. Another theory was that since his views are dropping slightly, uh, maybe he needed to do something to get attention, which I think is honestly the same thing that Katy Perry did. I think that people sometimes play into a role and act dumber than they are because they know it's going to get them attention online, which clearly in this case for him is working, and the whole like no press is bad press kind of thing. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's what he's doing. Another one of his theories was that the whole Jake Paul thing with Shane Dawson recently talking about sociopathy, basically their conclusion was that Jake Paul is not a sociopath, but that Logan Paul is. Although, there is the idea that sociopaths are very intelligent and therefore manipulative to other people, so maybe he's trying to come off as a total dumbass so that people don't think he's a sociopath. I don't know. In my opinion, the far more likely scenario is that Jake Paul's been getting too much attention lately for him to be able to handle and he needed to do something, anything, to get that focus back on him. Or maybe he just completely lost his mind since everyone's calling him a sociopath and since his brother for probably once in their collective careers is doing better than him and he's just completely lost his very, very last sad and alone brain cell. But what's frustrating to me about all of this is like, I'm like 99% sure he's a troll. He's just fucking with these people. He's fucking with his audience. He just wants attention. He's gonna like reject all of this at some point in the future. There's no way he's serious. Like, I really don't buy the bullshit. I don't. But if he continues with this even a little bit, even what he's already done is enough. Like, there are going to be people who follow him, which we've already established are maybe not the brightest. Uh, and they're all probably very young, so they're going to grow up and, 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 you know, get smarter. I hope, dear God, or our future is screwed. But right now, they are young and impressionable, and he is sending out this bullshit to their minds, and that's so detrimental. Like, if I had a kid, and they were a fan of him, and then they're like, Mommy, I think the earth is flat. Like, I would want to kill him. We are trying to get smarter collectively as a society, right? So anybody that does dumb shit like this and gets in the way of that, pisses me off, and it should piss you off too. That their NASA pics are fake, the expressions that they make, mm -hmm. always make my day. Yo, NASA's been tricking us all. Gravity isn't a law. Maybe uh, the guys I, I made fun of in the last Flat Earth video have some competition. We ain't living on a globe or a sphere, and we don't be spinning. Anyways, guys, I think I'm on my last brain cell, so I need to go. I need to end this video. I just had to make it, though, because we have Logan Paul that I bitch about before. We have Flat Earthers that I bitched about before, and you just combine them together in this giant fireball of stupid that I wanted to throw at you. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Why do you always pick at low-hanging fruit? Because it's funny. Get a sense of humor or you can get out. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it everywhere. And thank you to everyone supporting me on Patreon. You guys are amazing. I'm going to talk more about this later. But I am making Christmas cards and sending them to everybody who is a $10 and up patron just because you guys are awesome and I wanted to do something fun for Jesus' birthday. So be on the lookout for that, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!